The Battle of the Somme, also known as the Somme Offensive, took place between 1st July and 18th November 1916 on both sides of the upper reaches of the River Somme in France. The battle was intended to hasten a victory for the Allies. More than three million men fought in the battle, of whom more than one million were either wounded or killed, making it one of the deadliest battles in all of human history. The French and British had committed themselves to an offensive on the Somme during the Chantilly Conference in December 1915. The Allies agreed upon a strategy of combined offensives against the Central Powers in 1916 by the French, Russian, British, and Italian armies, with the Somme offensive as the Franco-British contribution. Initial plans called for the French army to undertake the main part of the Somme offensive, supported on the northern flank by the 4th Army Army of the British Expeditionary Force BEF. When the Imperial German Army began the Battle of Verdun on the Meuse on 21st February 1916, French commanders diverted many of the divisions intended for the Somme, and the supporting attack by the British became the principal effort. The British troops on the Somme comprised a mixture of the remains of the pre-war army, the Territorial Force, and Kitchener's Army, a force of wartime volunteers. On the first day on the Somme, 1st July, the German 2nd Army suffered a serious defeat opposite the French 6th Army, from Foucault en Santerre, south of the Somme to Maricourt, on the north bank, and by the 4th Army from Maricourt to the vicinity of the albert Bapaume Road. The 57,470 casualties suffered by the British, including 9,240 killed, were the worst in the history of the British Army. Most of the British casualties were suffered on the front between the albert Bapaume Road and Gommacourt to the north, which was the area where the principal German defensive effort, Schwerpunkt, was made. The battle became notable for the importance of air power and the first use of the tank in September, but these were a product of new technology and proved unreliable. At the end of the battle, British and French forces had penetrated 6 mae 10 km, into German-occupied territory along the majority of the front, their largest territorial gain since the First Battle of the Marne in 1914. The operation objectives of the Anglo-French armies were unfulfilled as they failed to capture Peron and Bapaume, where the German armies maintained their positions over the winter. British attacks in the Ancre Valley resumed in January 1917 and forced the Germans into local withdrawals to reserve lines in February before the strategic retreat by about 25 Fienen Intersmets 40 Counter Kelly in Operation Alberich to the Siegfriedstellung Hindenburg Line in March 1917. Debate continues over the necessity, significance and effect of the battle.